Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you here this afternoon for the official announcement that the Town of Niagara, in conjunction with the Town of Niagara Professional and Businessmen's Association and the Fashion Outlets Niagara Falls USA have acquired and purchased all of the holiday light displays from the United Way of Niagara. Now, this has been a uh, undertaking that has taken over a year through negotiations and a variety of other uh, uh, sources and things that we had to get through, legal parts. Uh, but all of you would be familiar with these displays. They're uh, the large displays that um, have been in a variety of locations throughout over the years. Uh, they, I think they started them at Oppenheim Park at one time and they've been in the city of Lockport and then the most recently have been in Hyde Park in Niagara Falls. Uh, we're really excited. Um, it is a massive undertaking for the town uh, with long range plan, which, uh, which will take some time for us to, to completely enact. Uh, the eventual plan is to expand our event called Noel at Niagara to include not only the park, but also other locations in our town, such as the fashion outlets, the town hall, Niagara Active Holes Fire Company, and central locations along Military Road, such as the Cannon site and uh, the area near the bus station uh, as well. Um, ultimately, the goal is to expand Noel at Niagara to light up all of Military Road as well. I would like to thank the United Way and Connie Brown, Executive Director, as well as Mr. Jerry Wolfgang, who stands right next to me, who assisted me in spearheading this project. He's actually the one who came to me with the idea. I'd like to thank the Town of Niagara uh, Town Board for their support and commitment, as well as the Town of Niagara Professional and Business Association and uh, the members of the board who are here today. And I'm going to ask them if they want to say a few things. And the Fashion Outlets of Niagara Falls USA, John Doran, who uh, is the mall uh, general manager. Um, like I said, it's, 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 uh, it's an it's a very uh, exciting time for us, but also a very scary time because this is a big operation for us to undertake for a small town. Uh, um, and, and a lot of these displays are, are super, super large. And uh, we've had uh, a lot of people say they would help volunteer to help us with these, including National Grid, uh, the uh, Niagara Falls uh, Union, uh, uh, Russ Quarantello and the um, Electrical Union as well. So. Um, I'm going to turn it over, first of all, to uh, Jerry Wolfgang, and Jerry's going to say a few words on behalf of the United Way. Thank you, Supervisor. It's, it's really a pleasure to have these lights finally found, find a home. These lights have, have traveled from Oppenheim Park and really go back to the Festival of Lights in the city of Niagara Falls. And we're very happy that, that an agreement could be reached. The United Way is very happy that they are here. I spoke this morning with uh, Carol Howard Dietz, the former chair of the United Way of Niagara, and she was very pleased that they were coming to the town of Niagara, where they will definitely be uh, some place that people can come and enjoy in this beautiful park. On behalf of the board of United Way, we thank our supervisor for purchasing them, and they've found a great place, a great home. Thank you. I can't add much except the town of Niagara has created a center of universe for the town. There is much that happens at Veterans Park. It is one of the most progressive and beautiful parks in western New York and it just keeps growing. This Christmas display is going to put it on the map. And I really appreciate what the board and the supervisor have done. The town of Niagara should be very proud. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblyman. Uh, Assemblyman Morinello has been a big supporter of ours and been right behind us in everything we've done. Uh, one of the things that he did is, uh, sub, uh, in addition to supporting uh, this event, is um, helped us secure uh, a $250,000 grant for playground equipment that the town had the front more than three or four years ago. 
and we thought was lost. And he came through with him and his uh, staff and and uh, helped us uh, re recoup that money, which was desperately needed for our fund balance. Uh, Chris or Janine, I want one of you to come up and speak on behalf of the uh, Town Niagara Professional Business Association. Well, Supervisor, thank you very much for having us. Uh, we're very happy uh, to be able to volunteer and help out with the Noel at, at Niagara this year. Um, being able to work with the town uh, to help promote the businesses uh, in the town as well as obviously it, all great events in the town such as Music Mania Mondays and that is a great honor uh, and we're just happy to be here and help out and uh, thank you for including us. Lastly, I'm going to ask uh, Megan Ayers, who's the, I'm going to call you the Public Relations Director for the Mall. I, I know you're something like that. So Megan Ayers, who uh, will represent and have to say a few words based uh, on behalf of uh, Fashion All Niagara Falls, USA. Thanks, Supervisor. Um, I will keep it short and sweet. We are thrilled um, to participate with the town on this, on this adventure. And I wear two hats, actually. I'm with the TMBPA and Fashion Outlet, so I'm doubly pleased to be a part of this with the, with the town of Niagara. Thanks so much. Okay, so um, the, uh, the mall itself has, uh, is a big, big supporter of our town. They help us, again, with Music Mania uh, Mondays. Um, and those of you who are aware and those of you who may not be aware, uh, we have the joint effort called Get Fashionably, which is the... Uh, Christmas giveaway between the town of Niagara and the, uh, the fashion outlets where we give to the uh, uh, local uh, non-for-profit charitable organizations and uh, other uh, worthy causes. Um, some of that money will be going toward to the town of Niagara Professional and Businessmen Association to help fund uh, the purchase of these lights and so uh, couldn't be going to a better cause for a better reason. Um, I've always been a big Christmas guy and uh, it's amazing to me how many people are. When we ran Noel at Niagara last year, which was our first year, uh, and we ran it on Black Friday, I really had no idea what to expect. And uh, I remember Assembly Memorial was there and I was like shocked. We must have had over 500 people the first night. Um, so it's a big event and a lot of people like Christmas and uh, we're going to make the town of Niagara eventually a place to be in a and a spot on the map for people to visit. So uh, we'll close there and I said thank you very much and, uh, and uh, we'll be moving forward with Noel at Niagara, thank you.